What's up guys, it's your boy Purnia. Manu Chihuahua here with the first ever Q&A on my channel. Yes! I'm in quarantine at the moment. I haven't had a trim for about four months. My hair looks like some pubes if we're honest, so that's why I'm wearing this cap. But this is how I really talk. I've got some great questions from you. You've been asking me more questions than an angry immigration officer, and I'm ready for it. Make sure you smash the like button, guys. And if I get more than five likes, I'm gonna delete my channel. Right, let's jump into the questions. So question number one comes from uh, B.O. You're trying to indirect, man. Why does an unknown P make longer music vids? Always a minute, but with your lyrics, you could easily do a lot longer. Up until two weeks ago, I had a full-time job. Trying to crowbar in my sketches was a bit of a mad one. Usually when a musician makes music, they've got their little studio, maybe they've got a couple of scented candles going on, they've got some snacks in the corner. Me, I've got freaking Martin elbowing me down the desk, Sharon's breaking the printer, and I'm there trying to be like, okay, let me write a posh drill song. A lot of people didn't know I did the posh rapping. Some of them thought I was definitely trying to murder the office, because they'd look over at me and I'd be like, so yeah, long and short, I had a full-time job. It's very hard on my brain. Angel kid, two days ago, are my eyebrows real? Now listen, okay, I've made some awful hair-related decisions in my life, but my eyebrows are not one of them. I don't know why they look like Tetris blocks, all right? If people ever diss my eyebrows, it never affects me because when I was growing up, at a time when kids bully each other, if people bullied me then, fine, maybe I might have a complex, but no one said nothing. So now when people comment on them, I'm like, you know, I'm a big man now. I'm more worried about my tax return than I am about year, a year nine with freckles telling me what my eyebrows look like. Do you know what I mean? Worldtube says, what was your upbringing like? Do you really know about the roads or just have friends from the roads? I mean, I think we can all agree when you look at me, uh, I am baked straight out of the bando, cooking up that. Sweet marijuana, yeah, that's me. I was born in Derby, which if you've never been to Derby, it's basically, I would say pretty much like Barbados. Then I had to move to Zimbabwe, because my dad's from there. Then we moved back to Norwich. So Norwich, Sheffield, Birmingham, and now London. So I've lived all over. It makes me laugh when people say, ah, oh, this guy's a posh, this, that, and the other. I'm thinking, bro, when I was living in Zimbabwe, I could go four or five days not being able to flush my toilet, and you're trying to tell me I'm bougie. We whilst you lot were playing Xbox, I was watching moths fly through candles because we had a power cut and that was my entertainment. Right, ah, uh, this is a good question. Amir Nazir, what are your hobbies or interests outside of what we see? I absolutely love video games. Sega Mega Drive was my first console. So one night, dad and mum went out for date night, amazing, and I played Streets of Rage for about five, six hours, and I played it for so long, I couldn't see in colour anymore. I physically couldn't see colour. Yeah, all I could see was white. Nigel Farage has entered the chat. I've got very scattered favourite games, you know, like I love Def Jam Fight for New York on PS2, Smackdown vs Raw 2006, Splinter Cell, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, and then Red Dead Redemption. Kirshley Plays says, how is Little Man doing? Will you make another collab with him? Definitely, I love working with Little Man. People think we're best mates, but actually, we don't know much about each other's personal lives. The first time I saw him, he didn't really even speak to me. I was just kind of like trying to break the ice, like, uh, so, you know, you come here often. Second time I saw him, okay, shook hands. I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere. Third time I saw him, I was walking up to him, put my hand out to shake his hand. He gives you a massive bear hug. I was like, all right, cool. Like, we're tight now, do you know what I mean? Little man knows that he's never spudded me properly. So one time, this sly guy waited until we were doing a scene where I couldn't see what he was about to do, and then this happened. Wagwan. Wagwan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, little man, watch out. Oh, this question comes from Monaldo. Monaldo. Are you interested in pursuing a music path? And if yes, would it be as a character? A lot of people want to know if I would do music for real. And I would say, at this point, no, because I think if you want to make music, you've got to have a story to tell. My life is more strange than it is inspiring. If I had to write songs about stuff that's genuinely going in my, on in my lap, I'd be like, oh, you know, when I was four, I lost my blue inhaler and I couldn't breathe for three days. You know, it's, it, that, that's not entertaining. I grew up in Zimbabwe, mate. Do you know what I mean? I, I was bitten on the forehead by a monkey when I was 11. No, that's, that's, that's not going to inspire anyone. As a character, though, that's completely different because there's a whole life story and a whole world that I can dip into to make music. So, I, yes, I am currently working on music as Unknown P. I'm working with legendary producer Plastician. Here's a clip of a song that we've now ditched, which was called Gallop Away. Uh, so we ditched that. 
and there was a second song we were working on which now is made and does feature an artist that everybody knows and now it's just a case of his people talking to my people and seeing whether we can whether we can release it. Uh, so do a, do a collab with Chunction Philly join just as you fit on their YouTube Foot Asylum YouTube channel. I'm awful at dating and I'm awful at dating apps. When I was on Tinder, I had so few matches. Are you ready for this? I wrote an email to Tinder support asking if there was a bug with my app. <laughs> Critical SNM says, have you ever thought about getting your own TV sketch show one day in the future with all the different characters you have? 100%. Me and GRM were meant to make a series actually. We were meant to have all these rappers involved and stuff. We had huge ambition, but I don't know if we had enough manpower to pull it off. And we did film an episode of Johnny Oliver, my parody chef, doing a dinner party for Hardy Caprio, which we filmed. But you know, with these things, you've got a lot of people to sign off. Somewhere along the line, it kind of broke apart, but I was really excited for that, and I'm gutted I will never be able to play it. I will show you one scene, which was um, Johnny Oliver serving up a main course for Hardy Caprio and his friends. What we're gonna do is play a game of pass the patty. Feel the rhythm, feel the ride. It's bobsled time, but it's patty time really, isn't it? Imagine catching the wildest wine, letting that cocktail seep into your veins. Josh Kahu, bless you. My question is, did you get any backlash from the shots you sent people in your fire in the booth? Obviously it was a joke, but people may take it seriously. Great question. All of the rappers that I've ever mentioned in any of my content have all had an amazing sense of humour. Gig, Stormzy, Heady One, Tion Wayne, H, all of them. And that ups my respect for them because, you know, they understand it, the way the entertainment works. You know, even when I met Unknown T for the first time in a Wingstop event, he was saying to me, yeah, now I'm cool with it because it helps my thing as well. So once I heard that from Unknown T, I thought, you know, no one can say anything to me about Unknown P because the guy himself is cool with it. Beast Gamer who says, Why are you gay? Are you gay in real life or is it just for the character? Either way, you play Unknown P amazingly. I am not gay, but I have no problem with people who are gay. And even if I was gay, I'd like to think that most people here enjoy the content irrespective of, you know, my race, my gender, my orientation, all of these kind of things. Interesting that people think Unknown P is gay. In my mind, he's not. He's written love songs for Steph Lon Don. He's all talking about BBWs. The W could mean willies, which I've now just discovered, but he wasn't talking about willies. Laid. What do you get recognised more as, Unknown P or Munya Chihuahua? Definitely Unknown P, and I think a lot of people think Unknown P is real. To think that there's this guy, this this real posh drill rapper walking around London cussing every rapper thinking not to get laying down or licked off. Is it licked off? Licked down, not licked off. Oof, I wish. <laughs> For some reason, people can't remember the name. I had a girl come up to me in Primark said, are you Uncle P? So I think that's a wrap. I've always wanted to do a Q&A, always. So this has been, for me, it's been lit. I hope it's been good for you too. As usual, I will be replying to comments. So let me know what you liked, what you wanted more of. If you enjoyed the video, let's get to five likes. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed and take care of yourselves. I appreciate all of you. Peace.